Hey family, this is Raquel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. I just wanted to go over a few tips in your estate planning that that's oftentimes overlooked. The first one is if you do get a revocable trust, it is very important that you remember to call your home insurance company and add your trust as the insured because if you put in a claim, once the adjuster appears and give you the, the the check or attempt to give you the check and realize that you're not the owner you're not on the deed um, it's going to be problems for you because the entity that is insured is the trust or the entity that is to be insured is the trust yet it is you who are insured so make sure that you call your insurance company and add your trust as the insured that is very important the second tip that I want to give you is a lot of times because of our emotions and we don't want our children to feel slighted, we try to make all our children co-executors, right? Do not do that. Try to have one executor of your will and, and you can have an alternate. So if the executor doesn't work out, then you have the alternate um, executor. And so how that works is you don't have, you know, all these folks who are trying to make decision and what happens if you have an even number and they come to an impasse. So if you must have more than one executor for your will, make it an odd number, right? Um, so the same thing with the trustee and the co-trustee. Just try to have one and then an alternate, okay? Um, the third thing is when you put your estate planning together, your trust, your poor over will, your poor of attorney, your health proxy or your living trust, make sure it's in the same place and someone knows where it can be found, right? You can either give them your attorney number or you can give them information to, um, to the safety deposit box in the bank or wherever you have it, um, whether it's in a special drawer in your home, but just let someone know right the fourth thing is similarly um to how if you have a tod transfer upon death which is a beneficiary on your bank account and you need to make sure that the beneficiary know that he or she is a beneficiary if anything happened you know you need to let someone know your insurance um company if you have life insurance your account number the telephone number as to who to call because once again if no one knows these things they don't know that you have an insurance policy they don't know that you have a will or a trust they find themselves in intestate court um intestate proceedings so just be mindful of these tips okay and um i hope it helps someone all right talk to you later ciao ciao